It was something here to roll and to store or keep these kind of tops. Inter is very harsh. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Volnor and I live in Kazakhstan. Today I'm going to film a very typical Soviet apartment which is on a background and which is called Khrushchevka. The boom of such kind of building was in early uh, 60s when Nikita Khrushchev was the leader of Soviet Union. So USSR government uh, planted these kind of buildings as a temporary place for residents, but people are still living here. So Khrushchevka is five-story building and very low cost and uh, like quick build uh, buildings and builders could rise this kind of building um, in just two or three weeks very wandering thing yes so let's go inside i would like to show you yeah as you can see during the soviet times um, for sure there wasn't any kind of electronic doors it was kind of a wooden door and uh, without any locks but uh, this is kind of modern one so when you like come here the first thing that you see this kind of stuff you need to dial like uh, to get people uh, let in or you can use this kind of little magnetic thing to open the door oops okay let's go inside so this is kind of uh, entrance of the um, of the building so people like store here the kind of sledge bikes and the different kind of stuffs for like maybe building and um, like usually uh, the entrance isn't uh, this kind of like beautiful <laughs> in most cases there's too terrible that you're really afraid to go inside but we can go to the upstairs let's go so there is uh, no elevator because uh, this is five-story building and the most difficult um, thing is that uh, like very old people they cannot go to the upstairs each floor kind of the same it has uh, three apartments in it but in some buildings there are, might be four apartments so in general uh, this building has uh, three types of, of apartments, one room, two rooms, three rooms. In Kazakhstan we don't say bedroom or living room, we only say one room or two room or three rooms. So, let's continue. Hello guys, welcome to the Soviet apartment. Please come in. Let me close the door first of all. Oops, okay. And we need to lock the door in the case of safety. So, guys, this is the front entrance and uh, this apartment is about 42 square meters and it consists of two rooms. Uh, the first one is the kitchen and the next is a living room together with the bedroom. But uh, let's start from the kitchen, okay? Come here. So, this is the kitchen and it's uh, about maybe four or five square meters. And the first thing uh, that I would like to show you the Soviet dishes, please come here. So this part is like for storing or for drying uh, dishes. So this one is the cutting board, also comes from the Soviet times and it's very old one. And um, uh, these are also Soviet plates, uh, metal plates, and as you can see there is kind of, I don't know, maybe number. <laughs> so, next is the rolling pin, rolling pin, very huge one. <laughs> like, people from Soviet times, they love to make pelmeni, uh, vareniki, Russian pancakes. So, next, okay. This is the potato masher, like to mash the potato. Like people from Soviet times really love to eat uh, puree. We say puree, it's a uh, mashed potatoes. The next is, this one is metal sheet grater. You, you, can you see it's very old. And, um, it's already dust on the surface of this one. <laughs> okay, next, uh, this is the ladle. 
also the old one and uh, okay and the different kind of stuffs which comes from the soviet times so and this is the kind of shelf for different kind of dishes like people from soviet times they love to store uh, different kind of like dishes even they don't use it only the time when they can use is uh, when guests come so it's kind of a museum <laughs> so the first thing that I would like to show you here is uh, this kind of pot for sugar and there is like a, a little of sugar <laughs> on the bottom and um, uh, this is the teapot also very old one teapot and kind of cups soviet cups there is also kind of numbers like tuck numbers i don't know well and this is the saucepan also comes from the soviet times this one is um, this kind of stuff comes from the vine like to on the top of the vine i don't know they put it like to open it when it's very hot yeah this is the old one okay um and these are different kind of like uh, spoons okay let's open this drawer <laughs> yeah different kind of stuffs but peop my guys tell me please um are you wondering why people like store or keep this kind of tops i have no idea what is the reason okay and what are in these drawers the same <laughs> many kind of stuffs oh my god this one uh to make sharp the knife like they do this kind of stuff i don't know how you do it in your country like this and actually i don't know the name you can uh, drop on, right on the comments how to call this one mm, okay let's close it and this is the kind of closed for many kind of stuffs also different kind of plates uh, bowls metal bowls and these are macaroni and sif yeah this one let me show you this kind of stuff Oops. yeah this is the sieve to sieve uh, the flour but it's already very dirty okay let's put it off okay <laughs> i think no one uses it i think that this kind of part like a museum and that's why a lot of dust in this place okay let's close it and this kind of a towel also looks very soviet very old one and people love to hang it here <laughs> so this is the kind of stove very soviet time stove <laughs> antique stove and also people store here very old stuffs <laughs> okay this is the frying pan already very like an old and dark color <laughs> well and what is here there are also many kind of stuffs that people don't use actually so this kind of stove uh, works with the gas but it's actually closed right now like uh, turn it off i cannot do it right now this is the kettle also soviet kettle mm. so this kind of stuff and let me show you the table uh, the this is the closed table close also the old one and table looks also old so actually this uh, i said four square meters and it like maybe only two or three people can uh, like have lunch or dinner here so this is kind of new one modern one happily okay and this is the fridge uh, on the top is the refrigerator like uh, separate refrigerator there is something 
like a, oh, I think the butter. And um, here is fridge, also the old one, very dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. If you don't be shocked about that. So people from Soviet times, they love to hang different kind of pictures on the wall. And this is kind of Chinese picture. So, and the next part uh, is the window, uh, wooden window, like modern apartments. They already have plastic window, but this one is very old and it opens with this, oh my God, handle. Okay. Be careful. Sometimes you can fit, um, how to say, uh, doves, doves, yeah, doves. Let me show you how to fit them. Okay, this kind, this is the little of bread. Let's feed the doves. I don't know, maybe if they will come, but uh, just a few minutes ago, I fed them. Just, we need to leave it for a while. So let's continue. But first, let me show you again. This one is also the old door, wooden door. And on the back side is the apron. <laughs> also the kind of old one, okay. Next part is the bathroom. So here's the bathroom is not separate. They are all together. So um, this is the basin and the bath. As you can see, there is no tap. Like <laughs> they didn't fix tap. It's like the kind of economize the water and money here. If you want to wash your hand, you need to share this tap like from the right to the left. <laughs> So, and the next one is the best, very old one. So, the metallic one. So, next uh, is this uh, washing machine. And it's like a very little one. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm really afraid to open it. People store, you see different kind of stuffs. Okay. And the name of this washing machine is Bubik. It's kind of Kazakh name. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, let's next. Yeah, and this kind of basins. Also Soviet times, very old one. And this one is the pipe for hot water. Uh, actually, it's very hot and it's uh, turned it on um, in all seasons, even it's summer, because uh, through this flows hot water and comes to the top. And this is the mop, also comes from the Soviet times, like to mop the floor, like people uh, put on the top some kind of clothes or uh, some kind of maybe uh, clothes, or I don't know, maybe napkin, <laughs> and they wash the floor, okay? And it's very convenient to wash the bottom part, like under of the bed, okay. <laughs> so, thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is also kind of picture, kitties comes from the Soviet times, actually. So, next. Okay. <clears throat> this is a, also kind of drawer and small clothes for the shoes. Like people store here their shoes. And here is, oh, can you see? <laughs> this is the old uh, brush to brush your shoes or and you can color it um, with dark uh, paint i don't know how, how to name it in english actually so this is also kind of drawer people store here different kind of papers 
like oh when we had uh, like a telephone uh, people like call to these numbers different kind of <laughs> oh my god it's too old okay so this is the old uh, mirror uh, people love to stick the mirror uh, on the wall and love to stick uh, like uh, stickers on the surface of the mirror. This women, I think kind of maybe famous Soviet Union singer or artist and kids love to stick different kind of pictures from their gums. <laughs> and yeah, and let me show you this part. I said that every apartment has this kind of small clothes on the top and people store here different kind of stuff but here is a, a long basin maybe for washing kids okay А здесь комфортно жить? Я хотела снять квартиру. Нормально. Нормально, а безопасно? Нормально, девушка. Нормально. Просто я сейчас смотрю. А если вот у меня выбор снять здесь квартиру, но немного в старых домах или немножко дальше от центра, но в новых домах, что вы посоветовали бы? Старых домах берите лучше. Да? Неизвестно, какие новые дома построены. Вот наш в 80-м году построен. Ну, ну, он панельный, но а вот рядом построили 16-этажное это здание. Бог его знает. У нас есть опасная зона. Наберите в старом, лишь бы, лишь бы комфортно было в квартире. Вот так. Посмотрите, чтобы удобство, все там техника была, все, чтобы вы уже все дорого просят за квартиру. Ну, двухкомнатную говорят за 200 тысяч, а Ой, да, дорого. Ну что, ипотеку не возьмете, нахрен вы государству платите, вернее на вечер деньги про не государство на вечер. Ну ипотеку молодая оформляет, все, господи, пройдет 10 лет и выплатишь ипотеку. Нафиг деньги на ветер пулять по 200 тысяч, а пупеть не встать. Ну да, вообще. Комфортно ли здесь жить? Очень комфортно. Я, я тоже, я вот лечу в Ленинград, но uh -huh. закрытые авиалинии, поэтому я вот тут, тут уже 15 дней, я освоила этот район, и мне очень нравится. Тут все овощное, рядышком магазины все. Вот тут, вот тут вот магнум. Я вот живу мне в однокомнатной. У них кухонька, правда, кухня маленькая, но на два человека достаточно, там столик небольшой. Но эти же дома Советского Союза, да, постройки? Да, это Советского Союза, вот такие дома в Германии, вот такого старого образца. Но район хороший, вот он, он тихий, он спокойный. Come here. This is kind of armchair. A very super Soviet old armchair and Russian babushkas <laughs> they love to sit here and to have hot cup of tea <laughs> and watch TV so and but uh, Russian дедушка дедушка is granddad they love to play chess on the table very nice table you don't need to buy any kind of chess just maybe kind of figures to put here and play chess yeah drop on the comments if you like if you like to play chess okay yeah and did you hear the sound one more time <laughs> soviet sound okay next um this is the iron but this one is old, let's leave it here. The thing that I want to show you is this table. But on the top of this table, different kind of blankets, also very Soviet blankets. Yeah. yeah I hope you feel the kind of Soviet times. This one is also old one. Oh, there is a hole. Sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't notice. So this table is a book table. In Russian language, in Russian language we say uh, stolik, book table. So it opens kind of like this. Oops. You can open like this. And on the but like under of the table here's some kind of stuff to like um how to say uh 
to fix it, yeah? There is some kind of stuff to fix it. So if you invite many guests, you can use this kind of table. Oops. Okay. Let's make it up again. There's kind of dust <laughs> because they are too old. Okay, the next thing I would like to show you is the TV. And this one is not smart TV that we used to have in our apartments, modern apartments. And uh, but happily, this TV is connected to cable, uh, and you can watch different kind of channels, even BBC. Um, world nation like how to say nature about nature <laughs> channels about nature so very nice one and the next that i would that i want to show is this kind of old curtain mesh curtain also soviet comes from soviet times um, and the window is not plastic as you can see is the wooden uh, window uh, the old one yeah the next is uh, the wardrobe let me show you the wardrobe but uh, this is not so comes this isn't come from um, Soviet times it's kind of new but it's still old and the thing that I want to show you there is uh, hanged like a fur coat also comes from the Soviet times I hope you know in Kazakhstan and in Russia the winter is very harsh and people have no choice they wear this kind of coats. This is for women, women and this one is for men. Also fur coat, very old, do you see? Laser fur coat. It's already like distracted. Okay. Okay, the next one is toys. This one is Kria Kria, <laughs> but uh, in English, you know, it's duck. People uh, like children love to play with this kind of toys. And the next one is chicken. And it looks kind of angry birds. <laughs> so if you, do, if you think like that, drop in the comments what kind of toys look like. Okay, next. Uh, and this kind of picture, also very Soviet, and that's a lot of dust on the top. And this is the 3D picture. Like you can see on the left side, on the, on the right side. Well, next, let me show you this part of the wardrobe. Okay, the first thing that I want to show you is this old... Uh, watch yeah this is old very old soviet watch okay next thing well uh and this is the vase and i think it's not quite of soviet times from soviet times but it still looks very old okay there is nothing too much so next thing that i want to show you is the carpet please look at the carpet it also comes from the soviet times mm, as i said people from soviet times they loved uh, red purple or such kind of uh, very light colors and this carpet well i can totally say this is from really great soviet times so so that's it and next uh, is this blanket also very old soviet blanket and uh, if we open so beneath is different kind of mattress this kind of and this looks like kazakh mattress so kind of mixed national apartment Okay, and um, the next one is uh, the wallpaper 
Actually, I don't like the texture of this wallpaper, but uh, during the Soviet times, people used to color uh, the wall with um, white color and they uh, hang on the wall a very long carpet. So as far as I remember myself, when I couldn't like get asleep, uh, I did like that. So I was lying on the bed and uh, painting, like not painting, like uh, uh, doing the lines on the top of the carpet, like this different kind of uh, figures, shapes, and then I could get asleep. <gasps> But still, if I go to my grandmother's house and my hometown, I, when I can not get asleep, I do the same things still if, <laughs> if I'm already adult. But it doesn't matter, it's like a habit. So the next, let's go to the balcony, okay? Also very Soviet balcony. Okay, let's open the door. So, come here. First thing is this kind of TV. So, as far as I remember, my father told me they had this kind of TV when they lived in the village and they uh, rolled... Um, it was something here to roll and to, to find uh, the channel which one is uh, working that period of time. It was like very difficult times, by the way. And this is also Soviet picture, like a Christian picture, I think so. Mm, Russian picture, mostly. Well, this is the uh, table clothes, also the old one. And please come here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the same old armchair. If someone like tired or want to go out, they can like sit here. Mostly like men come to the balcony, maybe they smoke here and relax with the fresh air. And on the background of the armchair, there is different kind of random stuff, random stuff that people store here, but there is no reason. <laughs> I don't know why people store here. The same in my hometown, my parents love to store different kinds of stuffs because they think maybe one day they will need all of them. I don't know. Okay, next, uh, this window is already very old and not colored. You see it's quite very old. And people, um, after washing their clothes, they hang out them on this kind of rope. Okay, it's quite uh, maybe three meters long. Okay, the next one is the window. Uh, very old, even it's not colored, except uh, that another windows that I've already showed to you. Okay, this is like for comfortable part. You can put here your hands and look around. So, and let me show you the neighborhood. Um, actually, this one is the old, uh, old building, apartments on the old building, but on the front there are different kind of new buildings. And uh, the one that is very wondering is, um, I don't know why, but uh, people think that it's okay to have like in front of you like a grand house. And you can see what people are doing uh, from the top. If they go to the toilet, you see <laughs> what, are, what, are they, what are they doing, actually. Oh, oh my god, I'm really happy that spring has arrived to Kazakhstan. It's really warm outside. Комфортно ли здесь жить? Да, конечно, комфортно. Безопасно. Вот именно в этом районе жить, в этих домах. А даже получается два бомжа спали. Моя подруга поднималась домой на пятый этаж, и там два бомжа очень спокойно так отды
Мы страдали на втором этаже жили, и там страдали от тараканов. Несколько раз вызывали чистку, и все равно они продолжали ползти, потому что с подвала идет, и даже если квартиру попеременно чистят, все равно это не помогает. А насколько качественно построены дома вообще в целом? Я не ощущаю ни гула ветра сильно, то есть не скажу, что что-то повреждено. То есть, в принципе... Каких-то претензий к качеству дома нет. А если у вас был бы выбор, вы бы жили в этом районе или где-то цен... ну, где дальше от центра, но в ЖК? А, скорее в ЖК, но в силу комфорта скорее. Сколько стоит здесь квартира? Квартиру, чтобы снять, это 200 тысяч за двухкомнатную и около 150 за однокомнатную. Every single residential area they have this kind of playgrounds and pull-up bars and very convenient uh, outdoor workout for adults. But uh, in some places, in some neighborhood, there are still this kind of very old playgrounds. Well, I'm trying to work out right now. It's a very great idea. You don't need to go to the gyms or you don't need to pay your money. So you can train outdoor. Oops. <laughs> this is kind of skiing. Okay. This part. I don't know how to do it actually, like this, and this one. Like a pull-up bar. <laughs> I need to train more. So let's go. We came to this area and we would like to ask residentials if it's uh, comfortable to live in this area. So come. Oh my God, there are too many residentials. So this cat looks more confident. Come here. Let's ask. So cat, tell me please, is it comfortable to live here? <laughs> oh, this cat is getting angry. I think, oh my God. So let's ask another cat. This cat is uh, like free, but I think this cat doesn't want to give an interview. Thanks to this kind of people, those cats are not hungry anyway, because people try to feed them with um, like with animal feedings and with water. Yeah. Thank you, people. Okay guys, will you happily live in this kind of apartment and how much money will you pay to rent this kind of like flat? And did you like the neighborhood and the playing yard? And the last question for you is uh, which kind of apartment would you uh, choose? Like uh, to live in the city center in this kind of Soviet apartment and uh, or live a little bit far from the city center but live in the modern apartment but you pay almost the same money and which one would you choose actually so thank you for watching this video till the end i hope you enjoyed and you felt the soviet times guys and you are always welcome to kazakhstan because kazakhstan has its own really unique features that you need to see with your own eyes so See you next time. Goodbye.